Well, we built the coordination layer for Web3 teams to change the world. Um, specifically, we kind of help decentralized teams smoothly manage their you know, governance, their operations, um, uh, and, and payment flow. So helping specifically manage the proposals, uh, manage projects, manage contributors, while at the same time helping contributors find, like, an, find new opportunities and earn reputation. To date, we've worked with over 200 you know, Web3 organizations, including Gitcoin, uh, DYDX, uh, Bankless, Radical, Polygon DAO, and have almost 19,000 contributors uh, on our platform. And in this talk, we're going to go over a little bit of what we've learned um, and built and kind of discuss how it could help you build in the, in the future of, of regen and, and, and science. Um, let's see. So firstly, we're going to break down some of the problems you might face as a Web3 organization. These can kind of be broadly deconstructed into four dimensions, each of which represent their own kind of sets of problems. Uh, in a Web3 org, we're immediately dealing with you know, remote work. In regen and science, uh, a lot of the challenges will actually be in coordinating on the ground work with sort of local organizations, right, or local labs, research labs. Uh, but nevertheless, contributors normally in a, in a DAO or decentralized org are normally spread around the globe. You know, they're speaking different languages, um, they're in different time zones. So it's really you know, important that we have a global diverse team to make sure that as many people as possible um, in the community are, are served. And then the second point is kind of choosing a governance mode. So how do we collectively make decisions uh, based on you know, our, our, our tokens, um, and which, which depends on what type of organizations we are, you know, research DAOs like Vita DAO, protocol DAOs like Clima, et cetera, Klima, et cetera, et cetera. Um, And then the third is kind of your tokenomics, um, you know, how the token accrues value, uh, and as a extension how contributors are paid in the native tokens, right? That give them equity in the network. And then the final pillar is kind of the community. You know, in Web3, your community are like your fans, your users, uh, your contributors, and your investors at the same time. So not only do they need to align with your mission and your values, but really they need to like develop relationships with each other. Uh, and we'll kind of briefly go through how, you know, the platform we've built, Wonderverse, provides tools to help you solve problems in each category. Pods, pods, pods. So, originally coined by our wonderful friends at Metropolis, um, also formerly known as Orca, pods are kind of like the building blocks of like a Web3 organization, right? So they can be functional, like your ops or research teams. They can be vertical-based, like, you know, an investment or kind of consulting arm, or they can be project-based, you know, like everyone who's working uh, at DevCon, for example. Pods give autonomy to sort of more agile groups to achieve their goals. So, you know, they set clear paths for contributors to start working. You know, a researcher, a researcher would join the research pod, et cetera. And if we also think about pods more like sub-DAOs, we can actually do more experimentation on governance and, and ops and easily spin up uh, and wind down pods so you can figure out the right configuration um, for your teams. On one of us, each pod kind of has its own workspace, it has its own roles, it has its own wallets, um, so they can run as autonomously as, as possible. Let's see. Yes, onboarding. Uh, so when a user first joins a Discord, you know, I'm sure as you all know, you're normally met with an overwhelming amount of information, uh, which normally leads them to leave, to be honest. Um, so it's really important that we have documentation on roadmaps and you know, FAQs to give these members more information on how they can get involved. Um, this is particularly important in science because research is very context specific. Um, and so what we've done is enable adding documentation, milestones and roadmaps at the sort of organizational and the pod level. Um, and in Web3, we also want to give accountability to contributors, right? People normally don't have managers, so they need to, you know, be rewarded or punished if they don't, like, put up good work. Um, and as contributors can, you know, complete more tasks and they show positive impact continuously, they should be moved to roles with, with more responsibility. So we've kind of built the platform to have a very nuanced permissioning system where, you know, it controls whether a role can create tasks, can, like, review them, um, pay people, etc. And these can be connected to Discord and also token gated as well. Another thing that we learned is that governance, operations, and payment modes are all related in Web3, right? And this is true on the org level and the pod level. For teams building products, you know, execution and speed is key. 
And so governance will be more focused on letting core teams build um, with more agile operations. You might run sprints, um, you know, scary word in Web3, I know. Uh, and either you would use like core NAEP or traditional salary as, as your best incentives. But for community teams, you know, vibe and culture is really important. And so flatter structures and bounties might be a better use of time. Um, and I wonder we kind of like have this uh, flow where flow where we can kind of like have platform native voting for proposals. You can create proposals. Anyone can create proposals. Um, they can either be you know discussed on the platform or they voted on on snapshot. And then those proposals can actually get turned into tasks or projects. And then the task can then be batch paid natively or fed into Utopia or Call Nap um, to support as many modes as possible. So this is something that's very dear to my heart. So as I kind of mentioned in Web3, we're kind of trying to create global collectives, right? That can be accessed by, by everyone. And as a result, we need to you know, create a space which actively tries to welcome people who've been traditionally sidelined. Um, so we are one of us, we're one of the sponsors of the GR15 Gitcoin Grants Round for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Um, and we're able to partner with you know, other sponsors like Krauss House, Unlock Protocol, et cetera, to kind of create you know, projects, tasks, and mentorship programs for GR15 grantees, including those specifically working on diversity in the science region space, like DSI Africa, Women in Web3 Science, you know, 40 Acres DAO, etc. So if you're interested in sort of providing more opportunities for diverse contributors, please reach out. Um, and this kind of ties into our final point, where we, you know, tried very hard to create a solution to help with collaborations between organizations. I'm sure everyone is in, you know, over a hundred Discord and Telegram chats. So we kind of created a shared workspace where you can sort of coordinate work, track milestones, share docs, share, share research with your research partners, your customers, the local nonprofits you're trying to work with. Um, you'll get notifications to your own Discord servers, you know, get rid of that shared channels, you know, um, bollocks and personal reminders so that it doesn't get lost through the black hole of Telegram and, and Discord. Um, and yeah, that is it. Uh, I included a slide to show us a little bit more if I haven't done it already. Um, our content lead is going to get mad if I don't talk a little bit about this. But uh, basically, we help some people um, do some good stuff. And then finally, if you're interested in sort of participating or just jamming um, on coordination, uh, please check our app. You can sort of sign up to be a contributor, find some cool opportunities. You can sign up to create a workspace, test it out. Um, or you can reach me on Twitter uh, or Telegram. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if we have time for questions. Uh, we have time for some questions. Any questions from the audience? Uh, if you have, feel I free. A, I did a good job. Okay. Maybe. Thank you, Andros. Oh, there's one actually. Oh, there's, there's one. one. There's there one. We go. Yeah. Not not so good. Not so good. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just curious about the the onboarding process into Wonderverse. Yeah. Um, and like transitioning from running everything in a Discord to like migrating data and information. Um, do you mean the migrating data from Discord onto one of us? Yeah, I guess like Discord or like if we have like a Notion, for example, where we store like a bunch of yeah. Like so Notion, we have like a Notion import where you can import everything from Notion, um, and on Discord. You know, our invite links to a workspace or a specific pod is like a Discord invite link. So you click on the link, you either like sign up and then you get directly, you know, put into that specific space. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Thank you. No worries. We have another question over here. Oh. So, um, is it decentralized in terms of infrastructure? If uh, a state actor wants to uh, penalize the project because they think it's, uh, it shouldn't exist, can they do so? Or or is it decentralized? Sorry, could you repeat the question? So, real quick? is your infrastructure decentralized? Basically, is like if a state actor wants to uh, stop a project, can they block your uh, your infra, or is it actually a decentralized infrastructure? I mention. see what you're saying. Uh, so, right now, we're not running on decentralized infrastructure yet, but we are planning to basically be able to enable our users to um, put the completed projects and milestones um, and tasks on chain as NFTs. Um, so in that, in that sense, that will always stick with them. Um, we're going to use some of our, put out some of our data into Ceramic um, in the future as we sort of progressively decentralize. Um, but yeah, a lot, not right now, a lot of the stuff is still in a DB. Okay. 